today we'll learn types of fraction after this video you'll be able to identify any type of fraction easily and quickly because i'll be telling you some tricks before that you should know what fraction is and its parts so if you haven't watched that introduction video on fractions i have shared link in the description you can see from there now let's start the types of fraction types of fraction based on properties of numerator and denominator fractions are subdivided into different types so basically the types depends on the numerator and the denominator of the fraction numerator is the upper one and the denominator is the down one so first fraction is proper fraction i'll giving you the list of fractions here we are going further in the video so first is proper fraction then we'll do improper fraction mixed fractions like fractions unlike fractions and the unit fractions okay so first we'll start with the proper and improper fractions proper fractions the proper fractions are those where the numerator is less than the denominator so when the numerator the upper one is less than the denominator then we call it as a proper fraction let's see an example so this is a fraction here 7 is a numerator and 9 is the denominator 7 is less than 9 then it's a proper fraction so 7 by 9 is a proper fraction since 9 7 is less than 9 that is numerator is less than denominator improper fractions the improper fraction is a fraction where numerator happens to be greater than denominator so numerator is basically greater than the denominator in improper fraction for example 8 by 3 now 8 is greater than 3 that is numerator is greater than denominator so it's an improper fraction because numerator is greater than the denominator now how we can learn this which is greater which is less how when we see the fraction how will understand its proper fraction or improper fraction for that i'll be telling you a trick you need to remember the proper growth the proper way of going forward so you are in grade 7 first then you'll go to grade 9 obviously this is a proper way of going further but is it possible that you are in grade 8 and then you're going back to grade 3 no it's not possible you're not going back anyway so it's improper way of going so if we are saying proper fraction first is smaller the next denominator comes is bigger so less 7 is less than denominator that is smaller than bigger and in improper fraction first bigger then smaller which is improper way of going or succeeding or growing so you can understand you can relate proper and improper fraction with your growth as well like 7 and 9 first small then big yeah it's correct way of growing so proper fraction first big then small no it's improper way so improper fraction so remember this trick uh, okay next is unit fractions unit fraction fractions in which numerator is 1 are called unit fraction in these fraction we do not see the denominator we just see the numerator if it's 1 we call it as unit fraction unit means 1 for example 1 by 3 you can see the numerator here 1 1 by 8 unit fraction 1 by 2 1 by 43 whatever the fraction is if the numerator is 1 then it is a unit fraction okay mixed fraction a mixed fraction is a mixture it's clear from the name it's mixture of whole number and a proper fraction whole numbers are the numbers which start from 0 and goes to infinity 0 1 2 3 the proper numbers and in proper fraction we already know the proper growth first is small then is big so it's proper fraction now when we mix both of them we'll get the mixed fraction now let's see here you can see 5 in the middle that is uh, this is fraction bar the line and in front of that in the middle we write the whole number 3 by 7 is a fraction so whole number and a fraction makes a mixed fraction mixed fraction we also call them mixed numerals in some books you will find mixed numbers so these are mixed numbers mixed fractions mixed numerals so what is that that is the mixture of whole number and a proper fraction so proper fraction you know first you are small in grade 3 then you are moving grade 7 it's a proper way so it's proper fraction five whole number 3 by 7 so in this example you can see 
Now, like and unlike fractions. Like fractions, the fractions that have same denominator. Now, in this case, we are just looking at the denominators, not at the numerators. So, like means same denominator. Like, same. So, if the numerator 3 by 7, 9 by 7, 4 by 7, 2 by 7. So, these are like fractions. Why? Because you can see the denominators here all are 7. They are same. When the denominators are same, that is like, then it's a like fraction. Unlike fraction in which the denominators are different. Now, let's see an example. 5 by 8, 4 by 3, 2 by 7, 9 by 5 are unlike fractions. Why? You can see the denominators here. All are different. So, it's unlike, in like, denominators are same, unlike, denominators are different. Now, identify the following fraction, the questions you'll get in your exams. So, they'll give you the number of fractions like 5 by 8, 3 by 7, 1 by 3, and 7, whole number 4 by 9. Now, these are the fractions and we have to identify that what type of fraction are they. So, for that, you can see First of all, 5 and 8. Uh, if I see first 5 is small, then big. Small and then big. It's a proper way of growing. So, it's a proper fraction. 3 by 8, 3 by 7. 3 small, 7 big. Again, small and then big. Proper fraction because it's a proper way of growing. Now, 1 and 3. You can see that this is a proper fraction again because small then big. But this you can see this is 1 in the numerator. So you can say unit fraction as well. Here 7 whole number 4 by 9. You can see it directly it's a mixture of whole number and a proper fraction. So it's a mixed numeral, mixed fraction, mixed number. Now I'm, I'll be writing the answers here. In these answer one will be wrong, I think. And you will be identifying that will be writing in the comment section that which one I have written wrong here. So I have written these answers here. One of them is wrong. So you need to identify which I have written wrong here. And I'll see how many of you can identify this easily that which one is wrong. Okay, so moving further, exercise in which I will be giving you the true or false. So, it's your time to do some workout. You'll pause the video and write the answer true or false in the comment section. So, what the question is, let's see. If the numerator is less than the denominator, it is called an improper fraction. Now, you have to tell me numerator, the top one is small, then growing big. Is it is improper or a proper fraction? If it's improper, then you can write true. If it's proper, then you can write false. So, you have to tell that this is the case of true or false. So, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and like. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notifications of our upcoming videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.